Hey buddies! Here you are at my Usatility channel. Now you will discover how to install the Epic 7 on PC so we can begin to play with keyboard and mouse even on a big screen. Wanna know how an Android game will work on computer? Well, I'll explain to you. Keep viewing the video tutorial so that you'll not really skip even a single part. Let us simply begin. A website link has been given in the video description or maybe in the first pinned comment. In order to see the website link clearly, here it is. Click on it, it will take you to this web page of Bluestacks Epic 7. By using Bluestacks, we'll install and play the game on a large screen. If you want to enjoy games on computer then Bluestacks is very useful and it runs as an emulator. Go to the option, Download Epic 7 for PC, to download this game, the download is completed, this is the file. We go to the game file. Windows 10 might ask for permissions. So as to continue installation, just accept the conditions. In order to look at installation software, it is better to minimize the browser tab in this way. Now I'll select the directory where I would like to install this game. Directory is usually picked simply by clicking on Customize Installation. And then, just click here on Back and press Install Now. This file is very small and will be saved within no time. For those who have fast internet then the file will download very quickly. Now it can continue to the installation of the emulator. The installation is complete. Do not forget that the system will take some time to make configuration settings for Bluestacks and to launch it but the next time, it'll start instantly. Keep your eyes to the computer screen because we are going to clarify a vital step now. Here's an option for Google Play, sign in, you have to click here. For sign into Google Play, you'll have to type in email and also password. Keep in your mind that installation will not be started without this particular step. In this step, we are going to just sign in to the Google account. We're eventually finished with this part. Click on I agree, in order to accept the terms of use, we do not prefer to make the device backup therefore we will pick no option. If you don't want to lose your progress in the game then you must create backup within the cloud. We just accept it, and it will quickly head over to Google Play. If you'd like to leave the emulator here is an arrow, press on it. You will notice these two icons, Bluestacks Multi Instance and Bluestacks. Simply click Bluestacks in order to start the Bluestacks software. After performing all crucial steps, we've finally reached the installation phase. We should go to Google Play and click on Install. There is an option to reset payment method in Google Play as well however it's not obligatory. We are not thinking about buying anything, so we can pick the Skip option. The installation of the Epic 7 begins, it downloads the game. Swifter Web Connection is advised to complete downloading of the game promptly. After installation, the icon of Epic 7 has actually been appeared on the desktop so that we are able to directly begin Epic 7. If we restart laptop, we double-click this particular Windows icon, and the game will launch. It's also possible to go to Epic 7 with Bluestacks. We will click on this Bluestacks icon to start out Epic 7. You may also make adjustments in the keyboard settings from this point. Anyways, keyboard options already look ideal so we will just close it. Firstly, let me tell you the two big screen solutions. By pressing here on, maximize bar, the computer screen will be maximized. However, if you want to get 100% large screen then this option is not good. If we prefer 100% full display, we'll have to touch F11 to go in the full screen mode, and even click F11 once again if you want to exit the full screen. No other task in your system will disturb you while playing the game in full screen mode. We only advise playing the game in an emulator if the system is powerful enough. Let's now rapidly check out how you can change the language of the game, we click this cogwheel right here, we will check out preferences. You can choose any language from here that you want to. I've eventually changed the language, see. Finally, we're done with setting up this game. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give a thumb up, give it a good like, subscribe if Usatility channel is useful in any comments you have left in the comment box, and we will reply. Thank you for viewing, we'll be back again with new interesting stuff.